Greetings presentation parishioners, blessings on this Friday of the first week of Advent. I hope your Advent journey is going well. We kicked it all off last weekend. This is really a, a special time of year to prepare our hearts, prepare our lives uh, for the coming of Christ, not only at Christmas, but his future coming. So it's a special time of year for all of us. I hopefully you're using some of the symbols and traditions of the season to really prepare yourself for Christmas. We have our Advent wreath, the light of the Advent candles, uh, our banner symbols back there with hope and peace and joy and love. Those are the things we want to be filling our hearts with, and those are the gifts we want to be sharing most fully in our lives. So make this a really special Advent season. Just want to talk about some of the things happening in Advent here around our parish. Remember, our event with Immaculate is coming up on this coming Wednesday, December 7th. Uh, please be sure to bring your ticket. If you received a ticket, uh, make sure you bring that with you that evening. Uh, if you didn't get a ticket when we were handing those out, I think a few have been returned to the office, so you can call the office in the next few days to see if any are available. Uh, but it is an event where we've asked people to, uh, to get a ticket and bring a ticket so we can kind of manage uh, the crowd. But hopefully you'll be joining us uh, Wednesday evening, December 7th at 6.30 p.m. Uh, for this wonderful uh, presentation by Immaculate. Then remember the very next day, Thursday, December 8th, is a holy day, a holy day of obligation, the Feast of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So we have Masses on the Holy Day at 6.30 a.m., 8.15 a.m., and 6 p.m. Now, it's a diocesan holiday, so all the schools in the diocese are required to take the day off. Uh, and so our school children will not be at the 8.15 a.m. Mass, uh, so it won't be as crowded as, as normal when they are in session. Uh, so remember, there's room at all of our Masses, but hopefully uh, take advantage of uh, the opportunity to attend the Holy Day Mass. Mary is an important uh, image and symbol for all of us, an important witness during the Advent season as we prepare for the birth of her son. So come and celebrate our Blessed Virgin Mary uh, on December 8th. Also, uh, remember that our Advent Reconciliation Service is coming up on Monday, December 12th. So a week from this coming Monday, uh, we'll be in, in the church at 6.30 p.m. There'll be a number of priests here helping hear confessions, but that's one of the special ways that we are invited to prepare our hearts and our lives for Christ at Christmas is by taking advantage of the Sacrament of Reconciliation. So please join us that evening, uh, December 12th at 6.30 p.m. All those things are in the bulletin. Those are all ways that we can share our faith uh, during this time of year. One of the special traditions here at Presentation is also our Advent giving tree. Uh, so hopefully you've taken a tag. There are still a few tags left on one of the trees in the gathering space. So if you haven't gotten a tag yet, please come by the church. The church is open during the day. Uh, grab a tag. Uh, they all go to different places. But we need those gifts returned by Sunday, December 11th, uh, so that we can distribute all of them. Uh, so please uh, take a tag, participate in the Advent Giving Tree, and return those gifts by December 11th. That's one of the special ways we make uh, Christmas a little brighter and a little warmer for those in need this time of year. Also, just a, a couple other things that will be happening in our parish so not this weekend, but the following weekend, the weekend of December 10th and 11th, we'll be having signups for our discipleship groups. Remember, our theme in our parish this year is just disciple and pray. And so one of the ways that we're going to uh, really gain some, some energy and some enthusiasm for being disciples is the opportunity for all of us to be part of a discipleship group. So these are going to be intentional groups uh, where we come together for some prayer and reflection initially. So it'll be like a six to nine week uh, commitment initially, and then groups will be able to decide from there uh, how they're going to move forward. But we hope you'll take advantage of that. We want everybody to certainly feel comfortable being in a discipleship group, but also to see that as an important way that we participate in life here at Presentation. So the signups will be that weekend of December 10th and 11th. Uh, we have a number of different times that you can uh, be part of a group. There's different uh, ways that you can connect with other people. There'll be ones that are uh, situated for people who work, people who are retired, uh, you know, different different uh, lifestyle lifestyle groups uh, as far as, uh, you know, what, what they're doing in their this particular point in their life. Uh, and so check all those things out and sign up for one of those uh, discipleship groups. But that'll be coming up the week uh, later. There's, there's information about that in the bulletin also. Then otherwise, just a couple of quick reminders. Remember this time of year, we always encourage our parishioners to make a year-end gift to the parish. So in this season of giving, let's remember the parish 
Uh, this year we're going to be designating, de designating our year in gifts for our future projects fund. So we need to build that back up now that we've finished our capital campaign. There's some important projects we'd like to get done uh, this summer. Uh, so please uh, make it your own gift and that will go to support uh, those projects that will help our parish in the future. And also remember the annual Catholic appeal for the diocese is going on. We're only about half of our goal currently. So our goal is like $85,000. I think we're around 40,000 uh, from our parishioners. So help us reach our goal. If you haven't made a contribution to the diocese and annual Catholic appeal, please do that so soon also. Uh, you can do that through the parish or you can just send it directly to the diocese. But thank you for your support all the time. Let's make this a special, holy, and faith-filled Advent as we prepare our lives and prepare ourselves for Christ. Blessings to all of you. Look forward to seeing you soon. Amen.